All right, so getting the family together to make holiday crafts is much more fun than going out to Target or wherever have you and buying them, right? So we've called in the art expert from Springfield Art Association to help us out with something called uh, paper marbling or shaving cream paper marbling. Yes. Right, Betsy? Yes, exactly. That's dollars here uh, to help us out. So, Betsy, what is uh, paper marbling? What does that even mean? Well, m marbling is actually a traditional craft that's been around for hundreds of years. Um, often when you open an antique book, mm -hmm. the papers inside the covers have those beautiful patterns yeah. on them. That is actually marbled paper. Mm -hmm. um, but that is done on a gelatin base with very fancy inks and all this kind of stuff. This is the kitchen version okay. of marbling that any age can do it. It doesn't make a mess. Mm -hmm. um, it's very fun and you can get some really beautiful patterns with it. Love it. Um, everything we have here you could probably find in your kitchen. Okay. Um, these are actually photo trays but a cookie sheet works great mm -hmm. or any um, aluminum um, tray that you have laying around, um, cake pan, whatever, because you're putting shaving cream in it. Okay. Um, so we're um, shaking up the shaving cream. We're going to put down a base. I don't know what it is about the foaming of the shaving cream, but it just satisfies my eyes well, so it, much. Well, it's also like whipped cream. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> Probably that's, it. that's, yeah, I think that's kind of the deeper satisfaction yeah. situation here. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, except whipped cream smells better, I think. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. So, anyway, so household spatula, everyone's got something like that. Mm -hmm. um, just spread out nice and flat. Okay. Then we... Um, there are things called marbling combs. This is a piece of corrugated cardboard mm -hmm. with toothpicks stuck in it. So mm -hmm. it looks like a comb. You can also use a regular hair comb okay. where the teeth are kind of far apart. It doesn't work as well when they're real close together. Mm -hmm. And shish kebab skewers or even a pencil would work just fine okay. as well. These are regular kitchen um, food coloring. So I'm going to do some just random drops of different colors. One thing you have to be a little careful about is if you mix all the colors together, they make brown. Mm. Um, so you have to keep them a little bit separated. Okay. But we've got red, green, blue, and just yellow. Just a tiny touch of blue. Perfect for a holiday season, of right. course, all Obviously, of the colors. Yeah, and the yellow tends to mix and break up the colors so you get some orange and lighter. Mm. Um, so yellow is kind of the critical thing. Okay. So um, with just a single point, you start spinning your colors together and you can get some really interesting patterns that way that yeah. look like little hearts and um, then you see how the colors are mixing together. Now, now, is this a critical part as well of like making sure we're still not like mixing them all together to get that brown, or can we just start swirling and? You circling? can just you can just start swirling and okay. circling and watch what's happening. Okay. And try to control that, and then you can pull. I don't know. The paper may not even make it over to that edge, but mm -hmm. we'll see. Now the other thing. Actually, I think I'll just do this one with the skewer, and then we'll show you the other tool in a second. That's looking pretty good. Let's get these guys. Mm -hmm. Now, the next piece of this is the paper that you're going to use. So, okay. um, regular household printer paper. Mm -hmm. And is, this looks like, I'm sorry, this oh, looks like this, too, just so you know that if you're doing it at home. This is what it will look like once you're finished. I like this already. I wish we could just frame this. That's, right. that's cute. <laughs> so you take your paper. Okay, so this is just household printer paper. It's mm -hmm. very thin and very absorbent. So you don't really have to do anything but press it onto the top here. Very fun. And watch it come through the paper. So you can tell that the paper already has a lot of color yeah. on it. So it's this doesn't... Good doesn't have to sit very long mm -hmm. to get that and just a couple seconds you would say yeah oh wow so so cool you pull that off you wind up getting a certain amount of shaving cream with yeah. it mm -hmm. so then the way you discover your real pattern is take your your spatula again mm -hmm. um and just kind of 
Start scraping it off. Start scraping it off. Now, when we're doing this part, is there any technique or just try to get all the whipped cream Just try to get off. the shaving cream off. Can you also use whipped cream for this? You know, I've never tried it, but I'm sure you <laughs> And then you could eat it when yeah. you were done. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it probably has the same consistency. Mm. So, yes, absolutely. Tell us what you think yeah, I was going to say, if you try it with whipped cream, let us know, because yeah. um, I want to know how that works. Um, but, yeah, here it is, um, your finished Super powder. Cool. There we go. Love those. I need to do that. Yes. All right, guys, head over to newchannel20.com. We'll have more information on um, this, as well as all registration classes hey. offered at Springfield Art Association. That's so cute. We're going to continue to do this. Betsy, thank you so much for coming. Oh, you're welcome. Yes, happy fun. holidays. We'll see you right after the break.